In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use 11labs API in Subtitle Edit to convert text to speech. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, Subtitle Edit has grown immensely and in future versions, we'll have a text to speech feature, which is highly welcome. Now, uh, if I go to video and this is a beta version of Subtitle Edit 4.0.5 and click on about, you'll see that this is the beta version and if I go to video with text available already here, more or less subtitles, I can click on text to speech and add to video. And once I do that, I'll see a couple of engines right here. Piper, Tortoise, Coqui, Microsoft Speech Synthesizer, and 11 Labs text to speech. Now, online, pay, good. So more or less description of what everything or uh, everything does. Now, uh, we also have voices when you select whatever engine you select. And with 11 labs, you need an API key. So if you try to use a voice right now without the API key pasted here, if I click on test voice, you get this particular issue. Please add API key. I'll click on OK and it gives this UPS voice generation field. I'll click on OK. Now we need to get an API key. And that is where we go back to a web browser and I'll just search for 11 labs. And 11 Labs is an AI voice generator and text to speech software. And it also includes voice cloning functionality, which is really, really awesome. But of importance to us in this video is the text to speech API. I'll just click on it. And once I do, it's going to bring me to this page. So you can elevate your projects with fastest and most powerful text to speech and voice API. Quickly generate AI voices in multiple languages for your chatbots, agents, uh, large language models, websites, apps, and more. So you can start uh, for free and you can also sample out uh, the different uh, voices and how they sound and so on and so forth. All we need to do is just sign up. I'll click on sign up. And from this option, I'll just sign up with Google uh, for this one. I'll just choose one of my accounts. So yes, continue. I'll get a welcome screen. You may or may not get it because it's more or less an onboarding process. So what's your first name, David? How did you hear about us? Select an option. Let's see, I've seen them on YouTube and then click on next, but you can skip as well. Uh, which best describes you? Uh, let me say creator, YouTuber. Which type of content, uh, type of creator are you? YouTuber. And then it's going to set up my account. So uh, test out our new multilingual speech to speech model. I can close this out. So we've got the simple and the advanced. Now, of importance to us here is more or less my profile. And this is where I want to see my profile and API key. I'll click on that. And from here, you'll see your email address and then you'll see your API key. Now, if I click on this, you'll see my API key, but you should not show somebody your API key. So I'll just click on it so that I can copy the API key to paste it in subtitle edit. Now that I've copied my API key from 11 labs, I'm going to go back to subtitle edit. Once you get your API key from 11 labs, then you're going to add it in this particular API key section here. Now from this section, we can choose whatever voice we want uh, to use uh, and for us to actually listen to this, we need to first of all add our API key. But for this video, let me just choose whatever voice I want to use. Let's say we go with maybe Drew. And if we go with Drew, I'll actually add my API key and I'm going to blur it so that you don't see it. And there it is. And I can now click on generate text to speech. I'll click on that. It's generating speech from text, two of six and more or less the lines that are here. So if you can see, it's just the number of lines uh, that it's actually creating. And then it's adjusting the speed for more or less the six lines so that they can be heard properly. And then it merges uh, the voiceover to actually uh, that particular video and also creates an audio file for you. If I actually open the video. In in this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos. TikTok's real super fast using Descript. We are going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain ways that you'd like to capitalize, the Alexa Mozi style and everything that you'd like to see. Stick around to the end. 
I'll show you how to make this super super fast. Thanks for watching and let's begin. It kind of looks like I'm the one who is saying it's sometimes a little bit slow, but it's not bad. It's good. Uh, and it's a good addition in subtitle edit. That's 11 labs API in subtitle edit to convert text to speech or more or less your subtitles to speech. If you actually want to do some more or less dubbing, if you'd like to get a paid version of 11 labs, you can check out 11 labs from the description below. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.